Well, hey guys, it's Jana with Twiggy Post, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this image into a PSD file. So we're going to cover a clipping mask and smart objects, and then also I'll show you how to add in a gradient overlay to the computer screen. If you want to just use this image as is, but make it look a little more realistic, that's the tool that you'll need. So let's get started with the clipping mask. What I'm going to do is go on over to the rectangular marquee tool. It's over here on the left-hand side. And then I'm just going to drag this from the corner and cover that entire gray box there in the center. And then once I let go, I can go over, over to Edit Copy, Edit Paste. Very nice. Now I have a layer on top of the background image. So what I'm going to do is go on over to File, Place Embedded, and I'm going to select an image to go on that screen. Now you'll notice it appears over here, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter in order to place that there. So if you look on the right hand side, I have the um, image that I just placed on the screen. I have the layer that we created with the rectangular marquee tool, and then I have my background image. So what I want to do is make this picture, the one right here in the center, I want that to fit within the screen. So I'm just going to right click on it. and select create clipping mask. Very nice. Now it is going to clip to that layer that we created earlier with the rectangular marquee tool. Now I am noticing that that layer pulls up a little bit right on the right hand side here so I'm just going to hit command T and then I'm going to right click and choose skew and then I'm just going to bring that down a little bit to make it look a little more realistic. That looks great. And then from here I can obviously move this image around a little bit in order to get the look that I want, but I love that no matter what I place in here, it's going to fit and look like it's part of the computer screen, which is great. So let's go ahead and delete that layer, and we're back to our original layer that we created in the very beginning with the rectangular marquee tool. Now what I want to do is turn this into a smart object. So you can either use clipping masks or smart objects, it's totally up to you whatever your preference is. Um, but first things first, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fix that a little bit. Very good. So now I'm going to go on over to Edit, I'm sorry, um, Layer, and choose Smart Objects, and I'm going to convert this to a smart object. And Photoshop's really smart, and it does all the work for me. So now you'll notice that it has that extra little square here that means it's a smart object. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on this, and it's going to open it up in another screen. So now let's do File, Place Embedded, and let's go ahead and choose that same photo that we used earlier, and it's going to place it on there for us. I'm going to go ahead and just hold down the Shift key and kind of drag this by the corner with my mouse so it fits over that entire um, thumbnail right there. Very good. I'm just angling a little bit. I'm going to hit Enter, and then I'm just going to X out of this and hit Save. Very nice. And then you'll notice it's back on over here um, on the computer screen as part of the smart object. Um, so now in order to just kind of manipulate this a little bit to make it look a little more realistic, I hit Command T. I'm going to go back on over to Skew and just kind of even that out. The rectangular marquee tool isn't always perfect when you have that gray square because it's pulling two different colors. But it, this is a really easy quick way to get that done. So let's go ahead and just delete that all together. And let's go back to our original thing that we just learned about the rectangular marquee tool. Go ahead and create another square. Very good, encompassing that entire gray area. Um, edit, copy, edit, paste. And now when you double click on this layer, you're gonna get this little thing pop up, layer style, and I'm gonna choose gradient overlay. What I love about this, once I click on it, is I can just adjust this as needed. And the purpose of this is to make this look a little more realistic. Not like it's just a flat computer, but that it has a little bit of light bouncing off of it. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm noticing down here at the bottom, I didn't quite get my square right, so I'm just going to kind of move it around a little bit. Command T, bring it down just a tiny bit. Very good, and that works. So that's three different ways to use this image and customize it um, however you'd like. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you back on over at Twiggy Post.